STV, votre télé. On STV TV was uh, good afternoon and thanks for joining us on this edition of the 1 p.m. English newscast on STV. Coming up in this newscast, CPDM members of parliament abandoned Thursday's session at the National Assembly as SDF MPs stormed the session demanding for the inclusion of the Anglophone crisis on the agenda of the November session. Political actors believe that the positives uh, of the 1991 tripartite conference that ushered in the 1996 constitution can also help in diffusing the current tension in the two English-speaking regions of the country. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us on this edition of the news. And we can start the newscast in Yaoundé, like mentioned in our headline. CPDM MPs abandoned Thursday's session at the National Assembly as the SDF members of Parliament staged an unprecedented move chanting songs of suffering. The move came after House Speaker Kavayege Jibril allegedly refused to include the Anglophone crisis on the agenda of the November session of Parliament, third and last for the year of 2017. Let's now listen to Honorable Joseph Bandam, who was among those who staged the protest Thursday morning. His reaction. Simply said that no work can go on here until we have found a definitive solution to the anglophone crisis for more than one year for more than one year this house has been meeting and behaving as though there is no problem whereas we have continued to bury people on a daily basis before we came out here we had to visit hospitals to see how many are lying in the various hospitals who were shot on their legs and today, as we are talking, we have thousands of West Cameroonians out there in Nigeria and are becoming refugees. We have said that this house will not sit until it is sitting to find a solution for the Anglophone crisis. And that's why we are waiting. If the CBD has decided to run away, let them run as far as they want to be. They will come back to meet us here. Or if they do, they do not, then nothing will take place in this house. So All deliberation will take place when we have not yet found a solution to the Anglophone crisis. Thank you. Let's now watch uh, the following video clip to comprehend what actually happened Thursday at the Hemicycle in Yaoundé.
stay on STV for developments as far as that story is concerned. And we still remain in politics so where the shortcomings of the 1991 tripartite conference that ushered in the 1996 constitution is believed to have aggravated the socio-political crisis in the two English-speaking regions of the country. Political actors, however, believe that the positives of that conference can help in diffusing the current tension. These points were highlighted yesterday during a political discourse to evaluate the 1991 tripartite conference, which is over 26 years old today. Peter Susi. The tripartite conference, which ushered in the 1996 constitution, is 26 years old now. The events in 1991 were the call for political reforms led to an unprecedented 10 months ghost town and civil disobedience signaled an important phase in Cameroon's political evolution. The governor had two points concerning election and concerning communication. But we came as part of opposition with the question of constitution to revise the constitution. We can't have a problem of liberty in our country. We can't have a problem of difficult difficulty and misery. It can be taking a private people to their liberty. And all these people, these, those problems, were taken into consideration during the dialogue. The Cameroon Democratic Union and its president, Adamun Damjoya, has rallied other political actors across the board and civil society actors in Douala to evaluate the successes and failures of the conference as well as the way forward with the view of enhancing national unity. The elements uh, left by the fathers, our founder fathers, who we met in Fuman, and decided that we have to come together, to come together, taking into consideration our particularities which gave the, the real image of Cameroon. Critics say the failures of the tripartite conference has widened the cracks in the country's political foundation as decentralization is too slow. Regional councils as well as the constitutional councils are absent and power is too centralized in Yaoundé. The views of some actors were not even considered in the 1996 constitution they lament. This, they say, has foiled what has become as the Anglophone crisis, which now needs a thorough, inclusive, and concrete dialogue on the form of the state, a proposal which the CDU party chief subscribes to. In we face the same situation, it will be the same situation, and now we are facing the same situation, because if we have problem in two regions, this problem concerns all Cameroonians, because I think that real patriot, real... Uh, Cameroon citizens will not be uh, quiet if they know that the, uh, the current patriots are suffering in any region. Discussions were animated by Honorable Paul Support of the UPC and one time staunch political activist Jean Nsonga. The United Nations Council and Cities of uh, Cameroon has uh, initiated a forum involving uh, local councils in the Litoa region to discuss ways of enhancing uh, ways of enhancing development in their respective communities. The move for that has been hailed by some mayors who were not uh, attended by most of the mayors who uh, unfortunately received their invitations very late. Peter Susi once again. A melting pot for exchanges amongst local councils in the Litwa region to address development challenges an initiative of the United Councils and Cities of Cameroon is attended by very few mayors and municipal authorities of the region Wednesday. A move which to some mayors stresses the need for increased collaboration amongst councils if they must achieve set objectives. I can also guess uh, there are so many years that failed in the last election that are not very happy and going on with all the mayors. And that is a very big pity because Cameroon is one and change is one. We need change to improve new solutions. We need change to bring new ideas. Innovation is change. Local councils in the Litwa region, like elsewhere, are plagued with a plethora of impeding factors which makes them unable to meet up with the needs of their communities. News are decreasing due to the consequences of the, of the crisis which we are, we are facing. We have problems like roads, we have uh, access to water, access to electricity, which are the basic and essential needs for, uh, for development. We also need land. 
the United Councils and Cities of Cameroon is bringing together councils of the Litwa region to mutualize efforts that will enable them to be more viable in realizing communal goals. Uh, during this forum, we are going to mature all our projects in terms of financing so that we can bring out partnership with bilateral or multilateral cooperation so that uh, we can have more financing out of FECOM, out of PNDP and the government. The mayor say the acceleration of the decentralization process will be the first step towards the right direction. Of all, we are appealing for decentralization to be as, uh, as uh, practical and as uh, effective as uh, it is uh, embedded in the law. The governor of the Litwa region, Samuel Dodoné Ivaha Dibua, who chaired the forum, has appealed for increased public-private partnerships amongst local councils in order for them to meet their priorities. Still in Douala, experts in democracy are of the opinion that democracy, the democracy and civil rights of citizens are constantly being violated by administrative authorities in Cameroon. This was echoed in Douala during an exchange conference organized by Ormond Avenue. John Ponsama. Man is born free, but everywhere he is in chains. This is a perfect representation of the current situation in Cameroon where their fundamental rights are violated on a daily basis by those institutions which are there to protect them. You know, uh, the current context in Cameroon is one of uh, extreme violation of fundamental civil liberties. And our constitution stipulates that it is the Cameroonian people who are sovereign. It is we, the people, who are sovereign. And therefore, when those through whom, because we must know that we do not delegate our, our power, we exercise our power through institutions that we have created, the presidency, the parliament, and so on. And when those through whom we are exercising our power mismanage that power, and violate our civil liberties. It is our fundamental duty to put a stop to it. And we can only do that as a people, a mass. And uh, uh, I have talked in there, of course there is fear, because those who have, uh, uh, through whom we are exercising our power, have usurped the power to the point of wanting to intimidate us who gave them the power and we cannot allow that to happen it is a disaster for any nation given this current state of affairs in the country the non-governmental organization Ermond Aveni alongside its partners have organized an exchange forum this Thursday in Douala on the theme the devolution of Republican powers and the exercise of public liberties which brought together some stakeholders to throw light on the reinforcement of democracy in the country, which is seen as a collective effort. We must mobilize ourselves, organize ourselves, and exercise that power. That is done without violence, but with a lot of firmness and determination to demonstrate that we, the people, have the power. And we, we must put in an end, a stop, to institutions which are no longer exercising power in the way that we uh, envisaged it to be. This conference is aimed at fostering civic initiative to strengthen democracy. We take you back to the political capital Yaoundé to talk about a seminar to educate civil societies on fast tracking the universalization of the arms trade treaty in Cameroon that took place yesterday. Galim Eugene, executive director of Cameroon Youths and Students Forum for Peace, now explains to us the importance of Thursday's, Thursday's seminar. Uh, you bear with me that the government has just submitted a bill to Parliament for the ratification of the Arms Trade Treaty by the President of the Republic. And the civil society has a great role to play in this treaty. And so therefore, the civil society needs to know what the treaty is all about, their role in the treaty, 
and how they should become, they should be effective in the implementation of the treaty. We expect that some of the civil society organizations will become experts, not only in the domain of disarmament, but in the domain of the arms trade treaty, because it's a specific treaty. Uh, it's a treaty that requires experts. So you need to understand the treaty before you start working on the treaty. But equally to recall that Cam Yusuf has been doing this over the years. And during the past two years, we've been able to mobilize the government, key government ministries, parliamentarians, journalists, and the civil society. But this particular training is very key because Cameroon is already in the process of ratifying the treaty. Sport football in this new scars, Fovu FC of Baham have sent strong words to the sports and arbitration chamber who is to definitely pronounce a verdict on a case between Fovu and Botafogo FC of Douala. Fovu thinks that some professional errors have been committed during previous hearings of the case. Philemon Bale attended the press conference where they were giving out this strong words. March day 26, Fovu Football Club of Baham against Botafogo FC of Douala at the Bafusam Omni Sports Stadium. Botafogo's captain writes a protest against a player of Fovu of Baham for double identity before the game. The same player bore a different name while playing for Astro Football Club of Douala in the 2006-2007 Elite One football season. Botafogo of Douala claims the same executive of Astri back then are now with Fofo of Baham, even though they had no evidence to back that up. According to the homologation committee of the LFPC, the case went in favor of Botafogo. But following a series of appeals, the Chamber of Sports and Arbitration still rules in favor of Botafogo. The player in question acknowledges to have changed his age and name, but that was a couple of seasons even before joining Fofo of Baham. Comme le voir fraudé sur l'identité et que c'est clair qu'il a fraudé avant d'arriver à Fofo. Il faut maintenant montrer si la complicité est avérée. Pour que cette complicité soit avérée, il faut montrer que les dirigeants des astres de Douala de 2007, 2006 ou 2005 qui ont utilisé ces voies sont les mêmes que ceux de Fauvou aujourd'hui. Voilà le seul... Fauvou equally thinks that the decision is nothing but a contradiction. Euh, les gènes de sa contradiction. Comment on peut dire que la responsabilité objective, on dit la complicité de Fauvou n'est pas établie. Donc Fauvou n'est pas complice du voie que relais. Mais on y constate en revanche que la responsabilité objective de Fauvou est engagée pour dissimulation et fraude sur l'identité du joueur. Mais comment vous comprenez ça en français facile C'est-à-dire on dit, vous n'êtes pas complice, mais on dit par la suite, votre responsabilité est engagée parce que vous avez participé à la dissimulation de la preuve. Another controversial move from the sports and arbitration chambers is highlighted by Fauvou's legal expert. C'est-à-dire quoi Nous nous retrouvons au niveau de la CCA, qui nous dit euh, vous Club de Baham, qui déboute vous Club de Baham pour n'avoir pas respecté un fameux article 72 du statut de la FECAFO qui n'existait plus, qui n'était plus en vigueur à l'époque, c'est-à-dire qui nous imposait, après que la, la, la commission d'homologation de, de la LFPC ait rendu sa décision, que vous Club de Baham aurait dû saisir la commission d'appel de la LFPC, qui n'existait pas. Recent rulings favor Botafogo as per the result, which ended 1-1. As it stands, Botafogo FC of Douala survives relegation at the detriment of PWD of Bamenda. The final verdict is awaited in the days ahead. Still in sport, uh, New Stars FC of Douala have continued to intensify preparations ahead of the 2017 Challenge Cup of Cameroon against uh, their sister side, UMS De Loom. John Paul Sama attended their last training session in Douala before their departure to Limbe, where they are expected to continue training uh, until they depart to uh, Yaoundé for the grand finale of the Cup of Cameroon on Sunday in November. 26, 2017. Last minute instructions dished out to the players of New Stars Football Club of Douala by their coaching staff. Training sessions are intensified as the boys of Douala are pulled together by the urge to write their names down the annals of history by winning the Cup of Cameroon edition 2017. And before training begins, God is put in the forefront. 
After that, the real business of the day begins as the players go into a frenzy mode before the technical team steps in to dish out the instructions. The boys then take to the field with ball control being at the core of their training session, this done under the watchful eyes of their indefatigable president for Stan Domke at the Douala Reunification Stadium. Everything is set for the finals as far as New Stars Football Club of Douala is concerned. On our part, preparations are at an advanced stage and we are waiting the date for the finals to be announced. The fans on their part are not indifferent as they have braved all the odds to watch their team train as well as give them a pat on the back. Actually, uh, we are the home, home base uh, fan club. Actually, as the players are training, we are equally training. You saw you, as they are on the start, the, the playing ground, we are equally beside the, the, the garden, equally training. So we, are, we hope that at least new star will, will, will have to say goodbye to them as they are going to Limbe to take up for Yaoundé. So the fan club is equally mobilizing to see that the team works, uh, the, the, the supporters are informed. Actually, that's a, a, UMS is not a team that came from, uh, from heaven. We have been playing UMS. But at this, at this stage of the, of the competition, New Star, you know, who couldn't have hoped in New Star? But at the end of the season, people could discover that New Star was a team that could uh, go as far. So UMS is just a team like any other team. But what is certain is that the supporters are doing everything at that level to make sure that New Star carry the day. New Star, New Star actually, they, they, that's a 90 minute match. New Star is going to win by two goals to one. As it all began, so it ends with them calling on the Lord Almighty to see them through as they prepare to move to the seaside town of Limbe, where they are expected to continue sharpening their skills while awaiting the D-Day. And the two teams, that is UMS of Loom and New, Star, New Stars FC of Douala, are already in Yaoundé for the grand finale of the 2017 Challenge Cup of Cameroon to be played on Sunday, November 26, 2017. Still in sport, but this time around basketball. The, twin, the basketball in the, in the Mutable Lions of Cameroon are set for the qualifiers of the 2017 FIBA Basketball World Cup that begins uh, this weekend at the Yaoundé Multi Purpose Sport Complex. The assurance was given Thursday at a press conference in Yaoundé as they prepare to face Tunisia Chad and Guinea. Here is an example of team captain of the Basketball Lions. Uh, I think the group is really confident right now because uh, we got every player we, we want to have and uh, we, we are, how, how can I say, we are staying in a really good uh, situation right now. And, um, we don't want to rush nothing. We're going to take game by game. So we're going to start with the child after the Guinea, and after Tunisia. The new formula, do you think that the new formula is something that's easy for you for competition? I don't know if it's easy, but it's new for everybody. It's new for every team, who's, every country who's playing this competition. So we're just going to find out and we're just trying to adapt it the, as fast as possible. Generally, how is the spirit of all your colleagues and you for this competition? The, I say the union. We come out just together. We we want to do everything we need, everything we gotta do to win the game. So we don't. It's not. It's nothing individual right now. So it's all. It's all about the team. It's all about the country. So when you come here, you come to play for your country, not for yourself, not for your name. You come here to, to represent your family and the color of the team. Thank you. Okay. I don't know if it's easy, but 
it's new for everybody. It's new for every team, who's, every country who's playing this competition. So we're just going to find out. We're just trying to adapt it the, as fast as possible. The, I said the union, we come out just together. We, we want to do you know, everything we need, everything we got to do to win the game. So we don't... It's not. It's nothing individual right now. So it's all. It's all about the team. It's all about the country. So when you come here, you come to play for your country, not for yourself. And that brings us to an end of this edition of the 1 p.m. English newscast on STV. Last for the week. Join uh, our team, of course, at, uh, at 6 p.m. for the original news on STV. And Leila Henganzo at uh, 7 p.m. for the news in the French language. And Henry Wana at 8 p.m. for the news in the English language. Good afternoon. Thanks for watching. And stay in the company of programs on STV. STV, votre télé.